Welcome to a day in the life as a graphic design student. So I'm going to be walking you through all the things that I do in my day to be productive, the most productive as I possibly can be. So today was actually a day and I had a lecture, but most of my lectures are actually open studio which means we kind of get up to whatever we need to get done so i woke up this morning around eight o'clock i should actually be in for 10 ish so i just got myself up got myself in a dressing gown because my god in winter it is cold then i decided that i need a shower wake yourself up shower is always the best idea and then once I've had a shower, I did my teeth, I got myself ready. This is kind of when I watch a YouTube video, so I hear I was actually watching Grackle. I always like to watch a YouTube video in the morning. It just relaxes me and calms me down. Or if I'm not feeling a YouTube video, I will put music on because music always brings me upbeat and actually wakes me up. I'm not a morning person at all. Anyone knows me. I am not a morning person. I have to put something on that will keep me awake otherwise I'm falling back asleep. I, I hate mornings. I'm such a night owl. I cannot do work in the mornings, but we've got to do it because it's studio. So just getting myself ready, waking myself up with my routine. I actually just use soap and moisturizer for my face, which has actually helped clear up a lot of my spots really well but i always do it with cold water so that's one of the things if anyone wants to know how anything that helps with spots that personally is for me i use soap that and this moisturizer is cellar v moisturizer this one and then i just decided to get myself ready ready for the day i'm wearing this guest long sleeve t-shirt i found this on depop and I really like guests, but I've never found one like this because it's vintage. It's freezing in studio, so I always put a long sleeve on. Then I put on this hoodie that I got from the vintage store when it was at uni. This cost me about a tenner, and I absolutely love it because it's so brightly coloured. It's just a bright blue with this massive design on. It is so comfy as well, and it's great for uni. Then, of course, got to get the glasses on, got to have my Fitbit on. I love having my Fitbit on because it means I can track how many steps I'm doing. That is something, like, so interesting because you see how many get done now it's time to do the hair so actually when i was watching this i was watching a productive like get ready with the semester kind of videos i do really enjoy watching stuff like that because it gives me ideas of things i need to do to be pr productive like notebooks and all that jazz because really like these videos are the sort of videos i love to watch i eat why i love making them so much because if i helps me be productive and I hope that it helps you guys be productive as well. I just had to run you through everything that I do get up to. So right now here, I actually got myself banned, like a knee brace because I'm going skiing and I needed one for my knees. I've got really bad knees from skiing. And this one actually bends with your knees. It's got metal in it. So it means that when I'm skiing, I can ski quite well. We are going very, very soon and you guys will see that. So I'm so excited for the videos come out. So that was just what I was showing you. Now it's time to pack the bag. I always pack this in the morning just because I use my laptop and my iPad all the time. So I've packed in my laptop, made sure that my iPad is fully charged and added that in. And then I think that's all I've taken. Most of the stuff is in my bag, I think. So that's my headphones and my pencil case. But to be honest, half the time I don't really need it. I just need my laptop on my iPad half the time. Then I decided for breakfast, I'm gonna make myself an omelet, a cheese omelet. There was actually nothing else in the house other than eggs really that I was fancying because we had no bread. I wanted an egg on toast, but there wasn't any of that. So I couldn't have any of it, which was I was a bit annoyed about, but quick easy breakfast because i was running slightly late at this point i arrived on time i arrived with 15 minutes to spare i do like to get there a bit early just to get like work done because i like to leave early i'd rather leave early and then i just don't know i don't studio like after lunchtime i'm just i don't know if anyone else is like this i just stop working but we move so yeah just making myself this omelette 
and just chilling drinking a coffee and talking to my parents if anyone else is like this like just doing simple things like actually making breakfast and actually having meals is so productive because without fuel like food we how will we be able to do uni work you know what i mean so have a decent breakfast in the morning and it would just help a million times uh, yeah i accidentally poked a hole in my omelette because i thought it was there and it wasn't a little bit confused but hey ho this omelette was actually so good i only used one egg because i don't like egg the taste of egg but i love eggs it's so strange i know but yeah this omelette was delicious and I had to eat it really quickly because literally me and my parents were setting off. I actually live at home if anyone is wondering and half the time I get a lift to uni just because we don't have many buses around my area and as well with this situation in Covid I'd rather just catch a lift from my parents. It's got a lift and this is my uni building, my campus has got a lot of old buildings apart from mine we have the brand new modern building which is stunning and so so nice to have like the new building this is me just walking in the stairs though of this place are hell like there's there's are so steep <laughs> and i don't know what it is and it's so cold as well but yeah so this is me just getting all my stuff out i just get it all out have it all set out ready for me to start working at this point when i'm doing all this i'm talking to my mates because i've just seen them getting self ready, having a bit of a chat, seeing how people are because most of the time I only see people at uni like twice a week because that's how many times I go in sometimes I do go in more but half the time I see them like twice a week so I am just getting all my stuff ready and all that jazz because yeah we have the water bottle of course hydration, my laptop, iPad and headphones, they're all out ready and as you see in the background, my views from this place are absolutely stunning, they're beautiful and here's my facial expression when my friend gave me her mum's uh, marmalade because I really love marmalade so her mum brought me some marmalade and then this is me just getting ready, just going through what I've already done, so this project was actually about period, period poverty and like making people aware of what periods are and that it's okay so this is just the project that i've chosen to do so this is me just getting the files ready for if i do any more development work which i did and uh the, today was a lot of talking to lecturers and doing feedback half the time and i spoke to like two lecturers to this day and i'd recommend like just talking to your lecturers and peers and just finding out what you need to do especially in like an arty subject like you never know and that was just my illustrations i was watching the ice hockey whilst also doing work because why not i always do this i always have to watch something or listen to something i would recommend an audiobook or something that you don't really care about a lot because it's less distracting but yeah i still will stand like just watching stuff i used to always watch murder as well which is kind of interesting here i'm just researching so always research as you go along because you never know where you might get some ideas from so i was just researching trying to find what to do for this poster design in the end actually this poster was my favorite i don't know if you'll see the final but yeah and then for lunch i had this prep meal thing which has carrots and veg i didn't actually eat it because it tasted off and it's been in our freezer so i was a bit like me eh. but um this is what i do i was like pre-cook things or like buy pre-cook things put them in the freezer and defrost them and then here is me just showing you my work half the time with uni you just with special representation it's just changing little things and new mock-ups and seeing how it is then i got a bit peckish so i had a misfits bar because i didn't eat my lunch and these things are so good they're delicious then i ended the day pretty early i think i left around three-ish from uni just because I wasn't feeling it. I just wasn't feeling uni this day. Some days I am, some days I'm not. So I came to Sainsbury's, which isn't far away. Got myself an oat mocha because Sainsbury's is actually good for pricing for things. I got myself some food and just did a bit of work. My dad actually came to pick me up. So we had a coffee and we sang some prints along the way home because Prince is so good. Such a good 
everything. And then I got home to my niece and nephew being home. So like it was just me and my niece messing around. Uh, she was being in front of camera, just <laughs> as you can tell. Once I had seen my niece and nephew and chilled, I started on with some new work, just really simple stuff. To be honest, I got feedback that I needed to change my logo, so I got two different types of logos to send it to myself and started editing them. It was just really simple work, so I'd already designed. I went for the moon cycle as like the names, so I got a moon and I just went on to Adobe and started creating these logos, just messing around when the kids were getting ready for bed just because it was the quietest time and it meant that I didn't actually need to help my parents out at all because the kids were on the iPads. So here I'm just chilling, trying to get this work done. At half the time, I'm actually the most productive I am at night on an evening Like, because I'll just sit in front of the fire with my parents, they're watching TV, I'll have a laptop, I'll be chatting and working and I sometimes will work till about 12 o'clock at night but in the daytime I won't do that much work it's quite strange and I don't really understand it but yeah I would not recommend doing what I do but at the end of the day like do what works for you because if you don't do what works for you then you won't succeed so personally for me I always quite chill I try not to stress myself out with it all um, like here I was trying to do this thing and it just wasn't working I didn't realize how to do it and it just it, it wasn't going the way I wanted it to so in the end I just modified the idea I had um, and just did something more fun but yeah here I was trying to cut it out so I have the moon and I had moon written and I was trying to cut it out so like half was white on the black bit and the other half was black where it, where it was white and it just wasn't happening and then for tea we had a fried egg well i had fried egg in a bagel with rosti because with the kids you just don't can't be bothered cooking half the time so i had breakfast because we went shopping so i just had some breakfast which was breakfast for tea which i'm not gonna lie breakfast is my favorite like meal of the day so it was so nice to be able to have it. And then I had a blue brew muffin from M&S whilst we watched this new doctor program about this junior doctor. And it's based on real life. It's quite graphic, I won't lie, but just so nice to be able to relax. Stay with uni work actually, but just really nice relax. And then I got myself ready for bed. I have retainers, so I have to do like a whole routine, but I only change part of it because you know but if you want a night routine or a morning routine please do let me know and i will do that for you then i decided i'm going to finish a night reading my book i actually finished this i stayed up till one o'clock in the morning reading this book because i wanted to finish it it's the hawthorne legacy second one in the duology my god it was amazing i i read this book in three days reading for me personally is so calming and so relaxing it's the one thing that will completely calm me down if i'm ever stressed so I just got right reading and it was fantastic. This book, like I said, oh, Jason and Jameson, oh my days. If you are into reading, I would read this book. The first one isn't the best, but you get you have to get through just to be, read this one. And that is the end of the video. I hope you did like it. If you did, please don't forget to hit this thumbs up. Comment down below what routines that you do for uni. And if you have any tips or advice, or if you want to ask any questions, just leave them down below downstairs in the comments and don't forget to hit that subscribe button because there'll be so many more videos for you guys i'm going to be doing so many more vlogs for uni and tips and tricks on how to get through uni because i'm a second year going into my third year so soon 
and I do want to share my tips and tricks for uni so don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you see it and the notification bell to be notified every time I do upload and I'll see you guys next time in my next video Sunday 5pm UK time.